Hello, friends. Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll see how bananas are harvested and processed. Let's dive into banana cultivation. After preparing the field, the farmers arrange the banana seedlings and stages on the cultivator. After planting the seedlings in the soil with a cultivator, two farmers straighten the stems of the seedlings from the top of the cultivator. Fine spray or mist is used to keep the soil constantly moist. As a result, the seeds get enough water. Depending on the banana plant variety, it takes 9 to 20 months for these banana seedlings to grow into mature banana plants. Some varieties mature faster than others. A farmer cuts the tip of the banana bud so that the cluster comes out. Then, when the tip of the female flowers comes out, the farmers cut some of its parts so that the cluster of bananas emerges quickly. Bunches develop into full-fledged bananas, and at this time, the farmers cut the big bananas separately. Young bananas are left on the race to grow. Then, they cut off the flower at the end of the race. For large agricultural areas, a skilled and efficient harvesting team is essential. First, they measure the size of the banana and confirm its ripeness. It's a bunch of bananas from an adult banana tree. It is from the sides of fully grown banana plants that suckers usually grow. This is the fastest growing banana plant inside the sucker. Workers carefully cut each bunch of bananas from the plant. They ensure that the cut is clean to avoid damage to the fruit. Then, the workers carry bunches of cut bananas on their shoulders and go to the transport area where there is line transport to the hook of this rope. The workers tie bunches of bananas tightly. Next, these bunches of bananas go to the washing area where workers spray the bananas very finely with water. As a result, both the germs and dirt stuck in the bananas are washed away. Another worker then sticks the bananas together so that they are not damaged and puts soft cotton paper inside each row of bananas. In remote areas where heavy machinery cannot be used, a bunch of bananas are harvested using this method. This method requires less time and labor. Generally, there are banana factories around the banana fields because bananas are perishable. Therefore, to maintain their quality, processing is required as soon as possible. They are sent directly from the field to the factory through a ROP line. Banana factory. After entering the factory, the workers first perform three tasks, remove the soft cotton paper from the bunch of bananas, measure the size of the bananas, and thoroughly clean the bananas again with water spray. Next, an expert cuts a banana from a bunch of bananas to confirm its freshness. Then begins the stage of final washing. Here, the workers cut the big bunch of bananas into small bunches and throw them in clean water. They then proceed to gently place the small bunches into clean water, ensuring that they are thoroughly clean before further processing. Using scissors, workers divide banana bunches submerged in water into two, three, or more sections and make their stems narrower. Then, these bananas are filled by the workers in the tray, and when the specified weight is confirmed, the bananas are taken to the packaging line. Banana packaging. Now, we will see how these bananas are packed in the factory. This worker is placing bananas in certain rooms on the ceiling line. As a result, when these bananas go through the sealing machine, the bananas are packed without any damage. A kind of chemical liquid is applied on the cut stem of the banana so that there is no infection with the cut part. The company's sealed bananas then come to the factory's container packaging room where workers fill paper containers with these sealed bananas. First, workers take a large polythene sheet. Bananas are placed in the first row and covered with polythene, then in the second row, and again covered with the same polythene. Then, 
These workers take the air out of the polythene through a vacuum machine. Banana chips making. Now, we'll see how banana chips are made in the factory. First, workers manually remove the peel of the bananas, leaving the edible white pulp. This pulp is pressed into a grinder machine and then taken to the frying area to be fried in hot oil. The banana chips move through a conveyor line to the packaging area where workers fill the containers with chips. Alternatively, banana pulp is cut into small pieces without grinding and fried directly in hot oil. These chips are fed through a conveyor into a rotating disc to extract oil and ensure they are completely dry. They are then run through a mixing machine to enhance flavor. Factory workers arrange the chips on a line, which moves to the packaging room equipped with an AI-based packaging machine. This machine measures the weight of the chips and fills polyethylene packets. Once filled, workers collect the packets and place them in paper containers, which are stamped with the company seal. Date of manufacture, expiry date, and serial number. The containers are manually taped and prepared for transportation or storage, ensuring the contents remain secure and protected during handling and transit. Now, these bananas and banana chips are ready for market sale and export. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating journey through the banana processing world. If you found this video informative, please subscribe for more exciting content.